Welcome to our EPRO 20 FBS. Um, I'm going to show you some of the modifications that we've made and storage ideas. Thank you to all the people who have shared their ideas. We've used some of those and come up with a few of our own. Come on inside. First right here we have these little um, propane level readers for the propane tanks. It shows you how full or empty your tanks are. This is a level mate. It has an app that goes with your phone. It helps to level the trailer and makes it much easier. With uh, space being such a premium, I've made all these little pockets for glasses and uh, cords and miscellaneous things. I love to cook, so we put these magnetic spice containers on here. They stay put great while we're traveling. Up here we keep all of our light cereal and <clears throat> drinks. Have this little <clears throat> stacker from Bed Bath & Beyond that helps maximize storage space. Over here we have a stick-on paper towel rack. We've got some baskets um, that are permanent. Those are in the correct order of the rainbow. <laughs> Just Science teacher. Science teacher. <laughs> So originally the knife rack was flush up here and uh, we realized that there was space behind the stove and oven. So we dropped this down, put some aluminum angle iron to finish it off and I can fit this little container that I got from Amazon. It's a small size and it fits right in there. These. Um, these drawers had a very low back so things would fall out very easily so we put this back on it so things don't fall out and the same thing with this drawer put a back panel with a cutout for the plumbing under here so we made this cabinet much larger uh, took out the original backing, reconfigured some lines, made it much larger, and there's a shelf back here that I use for lids. I keep uh, canned goods under here with another shelf to uh, help maximize storage space, foil. This cupboard just came apart on this trip, so we'll be gluing that back together if we get a chance. Uh, wait, well, that, while I'm down here, this original panel was permanent. So we put some uh, big piano hinge on it. <laughs> Got very creative with a Swiffer mop. Just cut down the handle to the right size. And now we have a little extra storage space. When you're traveling and the bump out is in, you have a lot of space here that you can throw things in. We do have a small table behind here which we use it's great uh, because I love to cook but we don't always want to have it out and these made little handy surfaces they fit right into these um, cup holders and it gives you somewhere to put your drink and your snack now on this side we have the same little thing but when the bump out is in and you're traveling, you can't open the bathroom door because this armrest is in the way. So put a little hinge on here, or bracket, mm -hmm. and um, it comes right off for travel. And then goes right back on. We upgraded the air conditioner so this is thermostatically controlled from an app on your phone instead of just off and on, which is much nicer. Um, we installed dimmable lights. So you just hold your finger on the center and they get brighter or dimmer. These were coming open, so we put stronger hooks on with these clear baskets. And again, if you look for things, baskets that are straight at the bottom instead of angled, it maximizes your space a little bit. 
And this cupboard is very full right now with all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> and I have my dishes and wine glasses, mandatory uh, wine glasses here. So that's part one. The bathroom is part two coming up. Check it out. Hi. This is um, our modifications and storage ideas for our 20 FPS part two. Um, I forgot to show you the refrigerator before. So someone suggested these clear plastic containers. They work beautifully. Everything doesn't fall out when you're traveling, when you open the container, the door up. I love this can storage for um, soda and beer and water. And by the way, the microwave makes a great bread holder. Um, I love the door. Some people take it off. I love the little bit of privacy <laughs> it affords me. <laughs> and I love to be able to put all these hooks. I've got these baskets. Uh, they're just great catch-alls. Our children got us these little uh, elastic storage containers, and they're great to just stick things on. Come on inside. This is my favorite modification of all because it gave us so much extra space. Originally, there was a solid panel here and we kept measuring and realized there was nothing behind it but a few lines that were easily moved. So, took out that panel, made a um, bottom, made a storage area shelf out of this. Got these from Home Depot. Clear plastic container, puts all our lotions and sunscreens because we're in sunny Florida instead of snow and ice. So this is just a great bonus storage area. Then up here, just to show you, basket for washcloths, <clears throat> hand towels, bath towels, basket, this is where I keep my shorts and pants. I've got extra paper towels and tissue, um, lots of extra random things in there, lots more hooks, a little mirror for the old lady eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're often in the south and it gets really hot, so I made this little vinyl Velcro to put up here. But there's times when I just love this sunroof. We upgraded to the Oxygenetics, Oxygenics shower head, which is so much nicer. It's got a dial for different um, forces of water, and that's great. I keep laundry basket in here, collapsible laundry basket that I can just throw stuff in. As you're camping long, things tend to start to get used up and you have more space, but at the beginning, there's lots of extra stuff and we can easily take that out to take a shower. We also put in these dimmable, and they get brighter, uh, lights. So all you have to do is hold your finger in the middle and they um, get brighter or dimmer, which makes it much nicer. Ooh. And... Um, a lot of people don't know where to put their toilet paper, so we got this little stick-on toilet paper holder. It works great. Um, also enlarged this cabinet, took out the backing, moved some lines around and made it larger. I couldn't find a triangular container to fit in here, so I took some cardboard and duct tape mm -hmm. and made my own. Velcroed this little basket down for lotion and wipes. And that is our bathroom. Thank you. Hi, this is part three of our modifications and storage ideas for our 20 FBS. Um, over here I have a little basket that I keep my extra shoes in. And I made, can you see this down here? I made these little pouches to hook on to throw some shoes in. 
does that show up at all? Not very well, but it's attached to the side of the bed. Yeah, it's attached to the side of the bed, and it's just a little pouch to throw things so in. So we don't trip them over them. If you are looking for a good camp read, this is my husband's new book, The Minturn Report by R.D. Coppins. It's very good. Check it out on Amazon or Kindle. Shameless plug. Thank you. <laughs> more pockets over here I've got a basket with my pajamas and bathing suits um, it is nice to have one place where we have shirts and jackets that we can hang up I sacrificed my pants and they're in the closet over there in the bathroom so um, t-shirts socks things like that then down here this is a great space, <clears throat> but we added the ceiling cooling memory foam three inches thick. It is wonderful. We've slept on this for months on the road and we're never uncomfortable. But it's heavy. But it's heavy and without it, this cabinet stayed open by itself but with that on it it doesn't stay open so we made this little hole uh, to hold it open while you're going in it and I'll show you the end so you can see the little cutaway and it stores right under there so a lot of miscellaneous things in here but again got these from <laughs> Bed Bath and & Beyond, and they have a nice straight edge so that they maximize that storage space. Over here too, um, plasticware, koozies, and lots of games and cards and fun stuff. Then over here, again, the same pouch on the side for some shoes. Um, this was just one big cabinet, so my husband added these two shelves and baskets to put clothes into. If you're traveling with Kathy, you're going to be traveling with baskets. Baskets, I love baskets. I love organization. Another basket here for pajamas, pockets for glasses and cords and whatever else that you need. This is our little friend. Our, our our mascot, Green Bean. Uh, we have an artist friend up in Michigan who made these guys for us. Over here, we have this vinyl cover for the window, the window for when we travel, it protects the glass. It's also great when it's really hot out. Uh, it blocks the light and helps keep things cooler and darker inside the trailer. Under here, we added these stabilizers which are great. There's one on the front and another one here on the side and they just do a really nice job of keeping the trailer from rocking. So this is our little small four cup. This is great. I have coffee in here but it keeps it watertight and then I can just pour it out. Um, I got my little scoop so we get that ready. So all you have to do is turn it on in the morning and it makes mornings go more smoothly. Um, and I'm barely tall enough to hit it. I'm not. But <laughs> our, my husband and this can really whack your head. So our rule is you, you can't put the awning out without putting these on at the same time. That's rule number one. Rule number can. one, they save a lot of head bangs. I have scars to prove it. <laughs> So we have this little collapsible basket, works great for extra drinks. Um, oh, we got this little tray to kind of keep things out of the dirt a little bit. Now, remember that, oh, this is going to be the first one. <laughs> when you see the bathroom remodel video, you will see that we put in a shelf. This is the bottom of that shelf and it goes all the way 
back in through there. So this was dead space up here um, and it's much more valuable on the other side. We added these little cargo nets to put things in. There's a shelf here that my husband built to block off all the water lines there. And he's got this for his tools and his toolbox fits on top of that. Put some hooks here for our um, grilling utensils and makes a great space. This is one of my favorites, Peace Love Camping. So one of the things that they do is they have a very cheap bracket that they put on here. We had a 16 BH and it broke the first time. So right away my husband just replaced this with some strong steel, bent it to fit, put a little bracket around here and this is much stronger. If you don't do anything, this is the one thing that I would recommend doing. It's really important. You will be replacing it sooner or later, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a really important thing to do. Over here, yeah. This, this slide out makes my trailer look big. <laughs> and our other green bean. <laughs> That's our 20 FPS. We love it. It's our home away from home. If you have any questions, just let us know and we'll be happy to let you how we know how we made things or where we got them. Thanks. Bye.